What I'm about to show you almost never happens in trading. This is the DAX. I'm just uh, using a standard retail free platform called MT4, which is what we use to train up new traders in the firm. Uh, it is 13th of July, 10 minutes past two on uh, on that day in UK time. DAX, one hour bars. Each one of these is one hour bar. Now you see that green arrow there? That's where we've got a signal that there could be an upward move on the trend and it, of course, exploded upwards. Just before that, it completely collapsed. Uh, and that was the short signal. So what is it that almost never happens? Well, first of all, you almost never get the opportunity to get in so close to the bottom and so close to the top. That rarely happens. In trend following, you're usually a little bit further late, okay? Uh, because you don't have a perfect crystal ball. The second thing that almost never happens is a perfect V-shape, right? Where it drops, you make a ton of money on the downside, you make a ton of money on the upside. Of course, that's the reason why traders trade because if you were just investing you would have gone from the 3rd of July to the 13th of July and made zero percent obviously because the price over those 10 days went down and then went back up so the traders want to be compensated for that extra time effort energy uh, risk and that's why they trade and they expect better returns than if they were investing whether or not they get them completely separate issue because we know 70 to 75 percent certainly of retail clients lose money. However, the other thing you almost never get is such large gains, that short and then that long, following each other, one after another. Now, the reason I mention all of this is because private investors seem to think this is what happens in trading every second, every day. It doesn't. What they think happens so often actually happens relatively rarely. So most of the time, the trader is just sat around doing absolutely bloody nothing. As one of the leading traders in the world, Kaveh al told me in 2000 when I was interviewing him for a book that I was writing when I wanted to be a trader. Actually, not 2000. It would have been 1996. 1996. He was the UK's highest paid employee. Uh, subsequently, he moved to live directly opposite me on Hamilton Terrace in St. John's Wood. That's a whole different story. So the other things which don't happen that often is the human ability to go from being short all the way to being long. That is a reason why we use algorithms and we use indicators like this to train up our students because if for one minute they were saying to me, oh, I'm really short the DAX Alpes, the German index, for these reasons. And then the next minute, so that was on the 3rd of July, then on the 7th, they've suddenly got a turn saying, no, oh, I've really turned bullish again. It's a very rare human who can do that, who can turn their opinions around like that. In fact, it's a skill which often we don't want to encourage in people, do we? Uh, but in this area, we need them to be nimble of mind. And we found the best way to do it is you just give them a process uh, and you remove 90% of the menial tasks they have to do, such as which trades should I focus on, like the DAX, and you enforce best practice on them, which is where should the stop loss be? Where do you add to your winners, which is the red dotted line, and so on and so forth. Then they've all they've got to do is find trade selection. It's all they've got to do. A bit like a driver behind a car. 90% of the hard work's done for you by the engine, the mechanics, the electronics, everything else. All you've got to do is turn the blasted steering wheel uh, and put your foot on the accelerator or the brake. And that's it. Pretty much, okay? Keep a lookout, I guess. And similarly with trading, we try and remove everything else. All the human has to do is that part. Now, that's another area where people get it wrong. They say, why can't we just automate all of that? Sure. How long has it taken Tesla to do that? And do you trust that? Whereas, of course, every numpty on social media thinks they've automatically worked out automated trading. No. What my traders need to be trained on is finding those kinds of price movements where trade selection is easier because the moves are smoother and therefore the algorithms, the mathematics can be applied more readily on finding those trends. Anyway, like I said, uh, that's an example through that of what trading is really about. Thank you very much.